We present a new technique for capturing and rendering unstructured light fields with commodity hardware. To capture a light field with our technique, the user simply waves a handheld camera around the subject they wish to capture. As they do this, our system's user interface guides their motion of the camera towards undersampled parts of the light field, automatically recording new images whenever the camera is presented with a new perspective of the subject. To display the captured light fields, we present a new algorithm for rendering from unstructured sets of images that scales to larger data sets than previous techniques and produces fewer artifacts. This light field has 261 images and took just two minutes to capture. In addition to our laptop version of the system, we have a prototype working on an N95 cell phone that uses an augmented reality interface for viewing and capturing light fields. To record a light field, the user first selects the subject they wish to capture. This is done by turning on what we call the augmented aperture and waving the camera in a small circle. As this is done, we automatically capture images and use them to augment the current live view of the camera to create a shallow depth of field effect. By aligning the crosshairs at the center of the screen with their subject and focusing the synthetic depth of field, the user selects a 3D point indicating the center of their subject. A bounding sphere for the subject is then centered at this point, and the user can manually increase or decrease the radius of the sphere until it bounds the entire subject. Once the user starts the automated capture process, previously captured images are shown as brush marks on the surface of the bounding sphere. The current location of the camera is represented by a small red dot on the surface of the sphere. Whenever this red dot projects to a point that is not covered by a brush mark, a new image is captured and added to the light field. If any part of the subject leaves the safe viewing frustum shown as a white box on the screen, then the software will stop recording images and alert the user by turning the box red. Images captured at the same scale as the current view are shown in green, images that are closer to the subject are shown as more blue, and images that are further away are shown as more red. To capture regular coverage of the subject, users should try to keep the brush strokes as green as possible. At any point in time during capture, the user can turn on review mode where they see a reconstruction of the subject from the current camera position overlaid on top of their camera's live view. Here we see the subject viewed under synthetic aperture. And here we see the small aperture reconstruction of the subject, which is hard to distinguish from the live view, indicating a good capture. To render a light field, we first triangulate the centers of projection for our captured images to define a 2D viewpoint manifold. We then reconstruct a blending field over this manifold by applying standard subdivision rules to the weights at each vertex. We then project this manifold into the requested view of our scene to obtain the output blending field at each frame. The projected manifold then acts as a window into the captured scene, displaying parallax in all three dimensions. Our technique is more robust to non-uniform sampling of the light field than the k-nearest neighbors approach of unstructured lumograph rendering, making it less prone to high-frequency artifacts in dimensions with sparse sampling. Here we show an example where we simulate a bicubic geometric aperture to obtain a synthetic depth of field. Here we show two more examples of light fields exhibiting parallax and depth. In addition to being inexpensive and easy to use, our technique is extremely robust. We consistently produce high quality light fields for a large variety of scenes that are traditionally considered difficult, including human subjects and very specular objects. Here we show four outdoor light fields captured at different scales. Here we show nine light fields all captured with a simple web camera attached by USB to a laptop computer. This 842 image light field was the first light field captured by a user who had never tried our software before. At the time of this video, we have captured literally hundreds of light fields using our technique. Our system is cheap, easy to use, and it consistently produces compelling results. We hope that with our work, a much larger community of users will be able to capture light fields in the wild.